Okay, I had to unmute myself. Sorry, I was like talking to just no one. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to a new episode of the TZ TV live show. Thanks for starting to comment below the video, you guys. I've had a blast reading the comments uh, while I was still off camera. Um, especially it was the problem with the time zone because that pretty much sums up my life. Like I never know what day it is here and because I work with so many different time zones, I'm always like, so what day is it in the US and in the UK? And so... It makes me laugh to see that I'm not the only one and we all have to struggle with that a little bit. But yes, it is the 15th in the US and it's already the 16th in Australia, which is a bit confusing. But anyway, um, hi, um, Penny, Janet, nice to see you there. The amazing countdown timer is um, Ecamm Live, that's what I use. Um, Denise from Oregon, I'm seeing people on YouTube as well, Keepers at Olmsted, so I don't have a real um, human name. Um, but hello, and yes, thanks for coming from the Makers Bees Summit. Abby, Dennis, Alec, Regina, Aileen on YouTube as well. Um, so this is great. Okay, so I am uh, going to quite simply stop you guys so that we can get into the action because we've got a little bit to cover today. So as I was explaining in my email, and I'm guessing that's why you're here, um, by the way, if you think this video is going to be helpful for someone else, make sure to share it or tag people in the comments. They can come and join us while we're live or to watch the replay. And so today what we're talking about is two ways you can use this cool new feature from uh, MailChimp called Landing Page Tool, which comes free with any uh, free plan, redundant. <laughs> and something that with uh, a bit of insight I'm thinking I didn't really present it really well is that I said it was mostly for Etsy sellers, but if you're here and you have your own website, it's going to be as useful for you as it will be for Etsy sellers. The thing is with Etsy sellers, uh, it's even more useful because you really can't do anything like that with Etsy, whereas if you have your own website, there's other options. But MailChimp does make it super easy to build landing pages. And don't freak out if you don't know what that is, I'm going to explain that in a second. Um, so that's why. So even if you have a website you're not selling on Etsy, stay with me. It's going to be super helpful um, anyway. So here's the program, you guys. First, I'm going to explain super quickly for those of you who don't know what MailChimp is, what it is. Um, most of you, I'm, I'm pretty sure, are aware of what MailChimp is, so I won't dive into too many details, but just to give a bit of context. Then we're going to talk about landing pages as well, just a simple, clear definition. What is this thing? Why do we need it? Um, and then we're going to dive into practical examples of what you can do with MailChimp and the two ways you can use MailChimp to uh, grow your handmade shop with that super cool new free feature. So. Let's get um, started. And yes, you can comment at any time below the video if you're on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, I believe it's on the right of your screen because uh, I'm getting those comments and I'll jump back in the comments uh, at different stages of the video so we can all interact. And um, yeah, and if anyone has questions, ask away. And if you have answers to the question asked, make sure to you know create this community bound by answering to each other's questions. Okay, so first off, uh, what is and why is my face just disappearing? Yeah, obviously not um, in phase with the tech again today, but what is MailChimp? That's the first thing I want to cover. And MailChimp is what's called an ESP, which stands for Email Service Provider. Now that's a bit of a fancy term. It's pretty much just a piece of software uh, most of MailChimp has a free plan and then you pay the more subscribers you have that collect email addresses for you and lets you send emails to your email list. It could be in what's called a broadcast, which is quite simply a newsletter, so a bulk email that you send to all your list, or it could be automated. So, you know, when someone just signed up, you could send, you could send uh, a welcome message uh, automatically that you don't have to do it yourself. So it's pretty much a way to send bulk email so that you don't have to sit there the day you have 10,000 email in your email list and like put everyone in BCC of your email. Like that sounds like a nightmare and that's not the right way to do it anyway. So that's what MailChimp is and do for you. Now for those of you who uh, don't know what MailChimp is, you would probably know at least this little guy. This little like monkey, cute, super, yeah, he's cute. <laughs> um, monkey logo and that's the, the logo of MailChimp and that's... Um, that's what MailChimp is, an email service provider, and that's what we're going to be using today to build landing pages. Now, what is a landing page? And again, my face disappeared, but I am back. 
A landing page, um, I remember the first time I was made aware of the concept of a landing page, I was just like, why do we need a word for that? Like, isn't that just a page? And yes, it is. A landing page is called landing because it's a page people land on. And so when I heard that the first time, I was like, yes, yeah, so like any page of my website or like my homepage, right? But there is a difference and it's quite an important one as well is that a landing page, contrary to say your homepage, uh, where there's lots of you know distractions in a way, um, because there's a menu, there's buttons, there's different things that you're asking people to do on your homepage. A landing page is a little bit different because it doesn't have all of that. The purpose of a landing page is to get people to take one specific action, to commit to doing one specific thing. So we really, um, you know, simplify the design to something that asks them to focus on one element and one action and to sign up or buy or do this one thing that we've decided before we designed it, right? So for example, you would have a landing page for signing up for your newsletter. That's one action. And the whole thing on this page would be about signing up to your newsletter. There wouldn't be a menu taking people to your shop. Uh, it's really quite a simplified experience for uh, people visiting the page. You could also have one for, uh, you know, a sale that you're having and it would be just about, you know, visit the sale page. Uh, you could have get 10% off or $10 off your first order. And that's also one action, which would be give me your email address so I can send you the coupon. So a landing page, quite simply, is a website page. It's a page on the internet that you use for marketing purposes that people commit to taking one action. So... That's why I was saying it's MailChimp here is really going to help you as an Etsy seller because you can't build your own custom page on your Etsy shop. With your website, you can absolutely use the tips I'm going to share now with MailChimp because honestly, it will make it easier for you. But you could do that just on your own website and just create a page that's not publicly shared and that you share just when you do promotions, right? Uh, but MailChimp will simplify the process for you. So I'd love to know in the comments if any of you is already actually using MailChimp because that would be great because then that's something you can really you know, take away and just implement it this afternoon or tonight if you want to. Um, and of course, if there's any question about where a landing page is and if anything that I just explained wasn't clear, please ask away in the comments as well because uh, I want to make sure that we're you know, on the same page. Um, I'm just refreshing the chat just to make sure. I'm not seeing any question right now. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of people joining in. Hello, hello. Uh, Dion says she's using Aweber. Okay, so it, it will be really Belgium specific what I'm what I'm doing today. But if Aweber doesn't have, uh, I don't actually know if uh, Aweber has a landing page feature. I don't think they do. Uh, there's workarounds, but if you do find that it's super easy with Mailchimp, maybe it's time to change. Mailchimp is a great platform. Uh, Maggie says she is, Mandy says she loves MailChimp, Katie said yes, okay, so that's cool. So you guys are going to learn a lot from this session because you uh, are going to be able to take this and just implement it right after the session or next week or whenever you have time, no pressure. Um, Deb says I'm using MailChimp but I'm just trying to get my email list started. I have an Etsy shop. Well, that's what the landing page are going to help you do as well, which is what I'm going to cover in a little bit. And Pamela says, should we have a sales page? Well, you can do a sales page with a landing page, which I'm going to explain in a second as well. Jill says she's not using it yet, but she definitely wants to. And by the way, guys, I'm a little bit sick, so if you hear me talk through my nose, that's why. I'm very sorry about that. Um, uh, Spirals and Spice from YouTube. Yes, I'm already using MailChimp. Uh, Keepers at Unstead. Yes, I use it as an email sign-up landing page, okay? You will use MailChimp, I have MailChimp, MailChimp. Okay, so that's great. Okay, so let's uh, dive then into what I call uh, more practical examples because I think that's just the best way to, to actually see how it works, right? And so today we're going to look at two things because there's two things you can do with those landing page, two main goals for your marketing, right? You can use a landing page, number one, to grow your email list, so to collect email addresses, and number two, uh, to actually promote a product or a collection to actually make more sales. So grow your email list on this side, make more sales on this other side hand. <laughs> um, so 
remember though to not try to do both at the same time because the purpose of a landing page is to simplify the decision-making process for your visitors when they land on the page so that they don't you know they're not offered with a, like a ton of options they're really like okay um, I just need to sign up for this email list. so okay I just need to click this big button and visit this sales page so it's really simple so focus on either growing your list or promoting your product and collection every time you build a landing page so you have a clear goal in mind right now when it comes ah my face has appeared again why why you do this internet okay I'm back um, when you focus on growing your email list right um, you can do it in so many different ways it's always about delivering or promising something of value to your visitors so that they're willing to give you their email address in exchange because email addresses are pretty much a currency like if you're not telling me why I should give you my email address most likely I'm like why would I do that like I don't know what you're going to send me I don't want to get spam and yada 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 like there's no if there's no good reason for me to subscribe then me probably I won't so trying to remember that as you build your page as well, what am I offering people here? But um, the, sorry, it is highly possible I'm going to end up coughing uh, during this um, <laughs> during this stream, which I apologize in advance for, and I'll try to mute my, my microphone, my microphone if it happens. Uh, anyway, to get people to subscribe to your newsletter, the most common example is offering them a coupon code when they first sign up to your list that they can use on their first order, right? So I have an example here that I want to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. Can you see this? You should be able to see this. Okay, so this is an example of a landing page that I've created in, I would say, five minutes tops uh, with the MailChimp landing page feature. It's dead simple because as I was saying, remember, um, we don't want people to get distracted. We have one goal here and it's growing my email list and we do it with this one thing that's giving 10% off um, someone's first order. In this case, for any order over 60 I've put because I don't want you guys to just give money away. Um, it's just an example, obviously it doesn't necessarily apply uh, to your business if you know that's too much, if you don't have that strategy, that's not the point here. The point is really to show you how simple and efficient the design is. There's nothing that distracts me, there's no menu, there's no buttons everywhere. It's really just a background picture of my products or something that's related to my brand and then a quick little message of what people get when they sign up and the sign up form. And something that's nice as well is the privacy and terms that's in the bottom left corner here that MailChimp includes in on all their landing pages. And then when I go and enter in my email address here, um, it will be directly connected to um, my MailChimp account. So I don't have to do any crazy integration or connection, which is why if you have your own website, MailChimp, this feature really makes it easy because you don't have to go and embed a form on a page or anything complex like that. Uh, everything is works really well together and it will go straight away to your email list so you don't have to do any, anything uh, you know fancy tech wise so that's the first example um, now the other one is uh, to for it's a, an, an example I'm not saying you have to do it but another option you have is to let's say promote a giveaway right and so same, same here again I'm going to share my screen to show you um where is it where's the button there here <laughs> so this is another example that i've created in another five minutes obviously the pictures are from um, unsplash which is this website that gives you access to pictures you can use without uh, having to give credits or royalty or e copyright issues so these aren't necessarily handmade products which i apologize for uh, i just was trying to create this page really quickly so i just picked a background image I put a little bit of text and it's just to show you that you could have a title, an image of your products, a list of what people get when they sign up for the, the giveaway and then obviously a place to put your email address because that's still what we're trying to do here is grow your email list. And again, nothing really distracts me from the one action that is put your email address in and click on the heck yeah button, right? So that's what a landing page is and that's why they are so, so powerful. Now, with MailChimp, and I can show you in the back end how it actually works inside of MailChimp in the end, for those of you who want to see the actual, you know, step-by-step, -step, how do I make this happen inside of MailChimp, 
Um, but then MailChimp simply creates this page for you and then it gives you a URL, so like the domain, uh, like you know, this one here, that's what I'm highlighting in blue. And you can simply use that in your marketing. So you could use that on your uh, you know, Instagram link, you could use that on Facebook, you could use that on Pinterest, you could use that anywhere just to drive traffic to this page, right? So it's kind of like you have a website, but you don't really have one because you're on Etsy. And if you do have a website, then you don't need to bother creating a page on your website directly. You can just link to this super easy to use landing page tool. Now, back to my face. Hello guys. <laughs> I'm going to pop it in the comment here and just make sure that you uh, are with me <laughs> and that I'm not uh, being unclear or anything like that. Alex is asking, does this type of landing page sign up allow for the double opt-in? It does because it integrates with MailChimp. So in the back end in your settings in MailChimp, you just um, set it up as a double opt-in and people will get, for people who don't know what a double opt-in is, is uh, really asking for double consent pretty much. So it means that I'm giving you my email address in this little form and then you're going to send me an email that says, you know, and I'm sure you guys have received that before, that says confirm your subscription with usually a link or a button to confirm that you want to subscribe to this email list. That's what double opt-in is and MailChimp does let you do this. Um, so because this is all integrated with MailChimp, absolutely you can do that. Um, Viviana says, I know nothing. Viviana, that's why we're here to learn. It's all good. Like that's, if you have questions, fire away and you can always watch your replay later if you want to watch this a bit, uh, you know, a bit slower. Um, I, I'm noticing that with this software I'm using, if you guys are chatting so much in the comment box, like the old comments, I can't see them anymore. Oh no, I can zoom out. Little trick here. Um, okay. Stella from YouTube is saying, I've been thinking about starting an email list soon using MailChimp, but I'd love to hear any suggestion on the best way to get it started. This landing page thing is giving me even more incentive. Well, Stella, the landing page thing is the best way to get started building your email list. It's really about finding what people uh, would find valuable, what your audience would like. It could be a free PDF pattern, it could be a coupon code, it could be anything that would entice them to give you their email address create a landing page for it and simply start promoting that landing page uh, via your social networks, on your Etsy shop. Uh, there's a billion ways you can actually promote your email list, uh, but the best way is with a landing page because it's really effective because there's no distraction. People are like, oh, okay, if I give my email address, I'm getting what's stated on this page and it's just really clear. Um, Jane says, hi, hi, Jane. Um, mm. Viviana, yes, the screen blacked out for everyone. It was my mistake. Um, hello from Greece. Uh, Julie Moss, can you use this on Etsy? So you can't use that on Etsy as in, <clears throat> apologize for my uh, throat. You can't use that on Etsy as in have that linked to your you know, Etsy shop in some sort of way because Etsy won't let you do that. But what you can do is build this landing page. You will get this little URL from MailChimp and you can also use a URL shortener to make it look a bit easier to remember, like a bit.ly uh, link, for example, and then send that to people um, when you want them to go and sign up to your list. So you could have in your description on Etsy on your listing, you know, hey, to get a coupon code, go to this page first and sign up for my email list, you will get a coupon code. You could have that in an image, in your about section, on your shop announcements, uh, all those places that you definitely want to leverage to grow your email list. Um, Kim is asking, what was the name of the site where you can find copyright free images? Let me type that in because it's such a, like, it's like my favorite website of all time for that purpose. Um, so it's called unsplash, oops, dot com. Can you guys see this or is it run like it's right here? Okay. It's really, 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 really good. Like all the images are copyright free and you don't have to give credits if you don't want to. It's always nice if you do. And also the images are beautiful. Like it's actual photographers images. So they look really pro and yeah, I love them. So that's my, that's always my go-to website. Um, okay. Jen says, oh, Jane, sorry, says, I have a small email list on Aweber. Can I import this to MailChimp? Absolutely. You should be able to export your list. 
uh, from Aweber in what's called a CSV file, which you honestly don't need to understand what that means. It's just a, a file extension. And then you're going to be able to import it to MailChimp and start a free account with them. Uh, okay, so let's keep going. And I see there's other comments, but I'll, I'll uh, go back to the content now and then we can um, go back into the comments in a little bit. Okay, so we've covered the first thing, which is how to grow your email list. And I've showed you two examples of how you can use those landing page tools or this landing page tool to do just that with MailChimp. Now, the second uh, thing that you might want to do, and yes, the screen is blacking out again. I promise I will do my homework and next time I will understand why this happens every time uh, because it's frustrating. But don't worry, it's not your computer or your internet, it's my brain that wasn't able to figure this out. Anyway, goal number two and the second thing you can do with those landing pages is actually promote and sell because that's what we want to do here, sell our products a specific product or specific collection. So this is the case when you use a landing page, not for people to sign up to your list and give you your email address, but to actually go and purchase some products of yours. So go and click on the, you know, um, on the buy now button or go and visit this new collection page of yours so that they really, you know, it, it's really useful, let's say when you have a new uh, collection um, because you could create a page just about this collection. It's, there's a brilliant use uh, of, of this feature, but I've got a couple of examples here that I want to show you. And my nose is not getting better, is it? Okay, so um, number one is an example of you have a new product. And I actually have a, a landing page here that I created as well for you guys. So let's go to it. So that's another example. Now, I'm not lying and I can show you how to do it. At the end of this video, I have done that in five minute flat. Again, the images are from Unsplash, so you would obviously use your own product images. But the idea was to say, hey, imagine the case where I am creating this new summer collection and I want to promote it. And to promote it, I'm having this limited special offer deal thing where I have this one product that's called the Leticia earrings. Again, just for an example, you guys. Um, on sale and so I want to make a page that's literally just about that no distraction no see all the other items on my shop no sign up to my email list it's all about this one item that's on sale and that I want you to go and purchase so this is a page with a banner a couple of line here it could be about this is uh, dummy content by the way guys I didn't actually type anything there so you would obviously put a little description of your collection or why this is so exciting. And then a product, exactly like a product listing was a product description and a price and this big green button that says shop now and save. And if they click on it, you will link that to the listing page on your Etsy shop if you sell on Etsy or if you sell on your website to directly to your um, WooCommerce or Shopify listing as well. So just a link to this product in your store. And so the idea here is that when you're creating a promotion, let's say, and then here we have a little bit of room for, let's say, an, an Etsy customer review. If you have some, um, it's always good to have that social proof on a page like that. Um, so the idea here is that when you are creating, prom like when you're creating a summer collection or a new product, or some, something to do with your actual products that you want to promote. It's always a bit hard if you sell on Etsy because then people go and visit your shop entirely or just this one specific listing and the distractions there are massive, right? Because it's Etsy and there's a million other shops that they can go and click onto while they're on your shop. So the idea is to take them first to that landing page. You would take them from Instagram or from Facebook or from your email list. You would email them the specific link to the specific page where you start really explaining why this customer collection is the best and why they need those earrings absolutely in their life. And you explain that they're on sale at the moment and then entice them to go and buy with this button. So it's really, much more effective in terms of communicating your message and your marketing than if you were just to say, hey, I've got a new uh, collection, so I'm having this product on sale at the moment to launch it. Uh, click on this my Etsy link to go and check it because you haven't done so much selling yet, you haven't done so much convincing, um, 
and you're going to take them to a place where they have so many distractions, right? So this really helps squeezing their attention first before sending them to your listing on Etsy. Plus, you know, in terms of branding, this is so much nicer because you can play with your logo, with background images and colors. And I actually really like the way this turned out and I did that in literally five minute flat. Um, so let me go back to my face, I'm here. So this is an example. Now, you could also create a page with more than just one product and it doesn't have to be on sale. It could just be a page with, you know, if you've got five new products in your shop for the summer collection, then you could list all of those five products and say, hey, uh, shop my new collection. Uh, you could have a landing page just for special occasions as well, like um, Mother Day, or well, that's kind of just fast, isn't it? It's next week in France, so I'm still thinking about it. But I think for you guys in the state, it was last week, and in Australia, it was definitely last Sunday. So I'm a little bit late, but it could be something like that, where you promote a Mother Day collection or Father Day or you know what, whatever, uh, and you have just a, a collection of product just for that, and you brand it for Mother Day, and so it's a really good way of marketing product just for that special occasion, right? So these are examples of things you can do with landing pages. What you have to remember is really focus on this one thing. So don't ask them to uh, shop this product and sign for your email list. It, it's easy to start adding too many buttons and things to those pages. We want to really uh, simplify the design, but also uh, the experience for the person lending on the page, lending on the landing page, I had to say it. Okay, so let me go in the comments here. Um, Viviana says I froze, so I hope I'm not frozen for everyone. And Viviana, I think you were still talking about the black screen that was here for a couple of seconds, which I'm sorry, but this was not an issue on your hand, it was definitely on my hand. Um, okay. Evie is asking, can we make with one MailChimp account different lists? Oh yes, you absolutely can do that. I'm glad you asked because you also should do that. Um, yes, you can have one MailChimp account and then have different lists for different interests or different type of content you're going to send or even different businesses if you want. But in that case, I would still recommend you have two MailChimp accounts. They're still free even if you have two. But you can absolutely segment your your big list into different small lists and segments and groups. So you can absolutely do that. Um, Pamela is asking, where on Etsy do I put the URL? So you would use this in uh, your about page on your shop. You could use it on your profile page. You could use it uh, on your product in your product description in the actual copy of, the, of your listing. You could create an image um, that says, you know, hey, to get a 10% discount code or at the moment we have a giveaway or whatever it is you want to advertise and put it uh, with your other thumbnails in your products or your product images so that when people scroll your image, they see it and they see the URL and go, oh, okay, I'm interested in getting 10% off on that. So I'm going to go and sign up. So anywhere you can really on Etsy. Now, there are things that you can't do on Etsy. Um, and also things that are about to change. So I want you to make sure that you're always up to date with Etsy terms and condition and privacy policy, because especially with the, the upcoming uh, GDPR, I don't know if you've heard of that, it's pretty much a new set of legislation for people inside of the European Union, but it's affecting everyone worldwide because if you have people visiting your shop and they are in, the, in Europe, even though you're not, you still have to comply. So it's changing a lot of things in terms of how we approach email marketing. And Etsy, that's the good thing, is going to be taking care of that mostly for you on their platform. But that means a few things are going to change, um, notably the ability to receive a buyer's email address um, when you get into a transaction with them. So that's still possible at this stage because when they said this wasn't going to be, I think a lot of people were like, what, I need this. Um, so they're trying to find a workaround, but I don't think it's going to last forever. So there are things that are about to change. Um, so it's a little bit of a delicate topic at the moment. But you have to make sure that you have consent 
from people to add, pe add them to your email address. You can't just grab the email address because you've had a transaction with them and you have it. You have to ask them if they want to join the email list first or send them to your landing page. And it has to be always within Etsy related communication. So you can't go back to past transaction and start emailing people and saying, hey, join my list because that transaction is finished. So that's, that's not really, that, that's actually a violation to Etsy's terms to do that. So you could, um, you could do it all the way before the transaction though, which is in your product description on your shops about page using this image trick. And, um, I, I can't remember who was that was it Pam or Eddie. I have a workshop all about that. It's uh, email list building for Etsy sellers. So I'll make sure I link to it in the comments below when I, um, when I finish the live so that you can go and check it out because we dive deeper into how to actually grow your email list when you're using Etsy. Okay, so uh, Matt and Beverly Moore is asking a question that I think is interesting here. It, it says, how does it differ? I'm saying, uh, I don't know if it's he or she, Matt and Beverly. Hello, them. <laughs> um, how does it differ from the plain opt-in on MailChimp? Okay, that's a really good question. So before that landing page feature was released, MailChimp let, was you know, letting you create like an opt-in form and then you can get the link to this opt-in form. So practically it was kind of similar, right? You could use that link and just send people to that link and there was a form. What's different is really the design and you can do so much more. Before you just have the opt-in email address form, now you can actually get rid of that. As you saw in my last example, I'll just show you again um, quickly. Here, here I don't have an opt-in form. I just have a button. So this turned into an actual page builder. So it means that you have so many more opportunities uh, and things you can do with it because it's not just to grow your email list. You can also use it to promote a new collection, a new product or something, a special workshop or events that you're organizing. So it's really taking that opt-in feature that they had before uh, where you could link to a form uh, to the next level and giving you the ability to do so much more with it and to add so much more design elements as well. Even, you know, when we were looking at, let's say this one here, the summer giveaway example, this is pretty much just an opt-in form, as you mentioned, but I was able to really style that in and drag and drop a block of content in such an easier and more uh, enjoyable, to be honest, and fun way than with the simple opt-in feature from MailChimp. Because I know what you mean. And when they released it, I was also thinking, well, what do you mean? Like, we can always, we can already do that. Um, but really, no, this, this goes way further. Okay, so um, Joe says, I'm not frozen. Okay, good. Um, Viviana says, I came onto YouTube and working now. Hello from YouTube, Viviana. Um, okay, hi from Scotland. Hello. Uh, Pexels.com is a great free photo website too. Laura says, that's so true. Pexels.com, uh, Laura's LinkedIn in the comment below. If you're, when you're building those pages and you need background images and things like that, Pexels are also, also has some really good quality um, images. Aska is asking, can I use it with WordPress website and blog? Aska uh, Malzak from YouTube. And yes, you can. What it is, is really just a page builder. So it allows you to drag and drop element onto a page to create a design, and then it gives you a URL that you can share wherever you want to. So you could use it on your WordPress blog and use it just link and say, click here, we'll take you to this page. You could use it on Instagram and social media, on wherever you want. So you can absolutely use those tips with WordPress as well. Um, the reason I was saying it's more useful for Etsy sellers, again, it's because with Etsy, you can't build custom pages like this. Whereas if you have your WordPress website, you could build this page on WordPress directly, but honestly, it's as easy to do it with MailChimp, which is, which is why I'm saying it's really useful for you guys too. Um, Penny says, we can't go back to previous customers on Etsy to ask them to sign up for our emails. No, because the transaction is finished, and so that is considered not spam, but it's pushy behavior and it's it's not something that Etsy want you to do. As soon as the transaction is finished and you, you know, and like if you can't go back to someone that you sent an order to three months ago and say, hey, remember me, sign, would you want to sign up to my list? That's not something that you can do. Uh, 
Shelly is saying when you're creating a discount code, is the code actually on the landing page or does it link to a page that has the discount code? So I would absolutely not put the great question, um, Shelly, from YouTube as well. Um, no, don't put the discount code on the page because if you do that, why would I give you my email address? Like I'm just going to go on the page, see the code and then go and use it. So maybe you've, you've got a sell from it, which is always good, but you've also missed the opportunity to get my email address, which is even more important because you want to be able to contact me again and say, Hey, next month we've got this new product coming or, you know, we have, we're at this market this weekend. So you really want to get the email address first and then deliver on the discount code. Think of it as a contract. It's, it's really, it's a transaction. As I was saying, like an email list is, um, an email address, sorry, is, is a, is a money device. So I want to give you my email address because in exchange, I'm getting that discount code. So don't give it to me before I pay you with my email address, right? Now you can have the discount code on a thank you page, which would be the page just after the form. So I type in my email address and then uh, it says, Hey, thank you for signing up for our list. Here's a discount code. That's okay. As long as I've given you my email before, or the, the easiest way is also to um, send me an email in my welcome message when I just signed up with the code in it, uh, which is nice because it's also going to sit in my inbox in my email so I can always refer to it. If I don't have time to shop right now, it's going to be there. I don't need to you know, take notes of what the coupon code is. It's in my email. So that means that when I sign up and give you my email address, MailChimp will automatically send me an email saying, hey, Dad, thanks for signing up. Here's the prom the discount code that we promised we would send to you and then the discount code. I hope that made sense. Um, okay, so now uh, Stella is asking, can you have more? Sorry, I'm just doing one more question and then I'll jump into MailChimp and actually show you what, the, what it looks like to build a page uh, really quickly. Uh, can you have more than one landing page? Say if you want to promote a sale, but you still want your email list opt-in page up. You can have as many landing pages as you want. In fact, all the examples I've showed you today are from my MailChimp uh, account. And there's those three examples already. So it's really just a different URL each time. If you want to build 15, you can absolutely do that, which is why it's great because it means that if on Facebook one day you want to send a, a post to your followers saying, hey, did you know that you can get 10% off? Then you would link to this specific landing page. But then if two weeks after that, you want to promote a product for mother, you know, like a bundle for Mother's Day, I really have to stop talking about Mother's Day because I know it's in the past for you guys. Um, you could send uh, a link to this specific landing page. So great question. And yes, you can have as many landing pages as you want. Um, Okay, so I am going to jump into MailChimp and show you guys really quickly because I keep on saying it's super easy, it's super easy, but how about we actually take a look? I'm just logging in right now. Okay, so sharing my screen. Okay, and pushing stuff on the side so I can actually click on my screen. So this is what MailChimp looks like. Uh, for those of you who have it, you will recognize this dashboard. Uh, for those of you who don't, that's what it looks like. This is um, an account that I'm not using. So you're going to see a lot of stuff called test, test, test three, test four, because I'm not actually using this account. Um, so I don't pay great uh, attention to these details. But this is what you would do. You would go to create campaign and then create a landing page in the corner here. Now, and that's important. Remember going into designing your landing page was this one focus, this one thing that you want people to do. Do you want to grow your email list with this landing page or are you more looking at uh, promoting a product, a collection, you know, something like that. Sign up page would be growing your email list here. Product page would be to uh, promote your product. So we're going to do that as an example and I'm going to call that test one more time. Test 45, why not? Uh, now here it's going to ask you uh, where for which list this is and if you have a few, uh, just pick the one that applies and then begin. And yes, this is how slow my internet is. Welcome to Australia. Okay, so this is 
uh, something that they've pre-populated, right? So they gave you a bit of a wireframe here of what it could look like. You can delete or add any element you want, right? So um, this is actually what I've used and you'll probably recognize for the summer collection. I had put the leaves in the background here, my uh, logo or name, and then I had put a product description here and I've used a button. So this is already quite a really nice layout. Now, if you don't like any of these, you can delete. And it's gonna ask you, are you sure? And you say you're sure and then it does it. <laughs> and then you can go on the side here and add anything you like. So if you wanna add a big image, you can do that. If you wanna add a paragraph of text, you just simply uh, drag and drop it. And then here, um, change, change the text. I'm very inspired, so I'm actually typing what I'm saying. Change the text. <laughs> so anyway, you can um, add as much text as you want. You can color it, put it in bold. So it's really easy and then save and close. And if below that I wanted to have an image group or a social share uh, button or anything like that, then I can do that by simply um, clicking on the side here and dragging it to my design. Now, um, here it's going to let me select a background color if I want to or a background image. Uh, so see for example this one and I can upload from my computer any image I want which is why I was mentioning um, Unsplash as a good example. I can upload my logo in this case I don't have one so I'm going to get rid of it. You're starting to understand the gist of it right like it's really 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 simple. Here I could go in and add a product image with a product description. If I'm promoting a collection, if I have more than two items, you can duplicate this really easily by clicking on this little double square and a plus sign button um, and add more products if you want. And then this big button is really this one action that we want them to take, which is visit my collection page on my website or buy this product now or whatever this one single action you want them to take is. And again, here uh, you can change um, the text, you know, click me, um, not great, but <laughs> that's all that came to my mind. And you can obviously style and change, you know, the color of the button and all this type of stuff, right? So um, this is easy and it's actually fun, guys. And they do give you uh, something to start with as well so that you don't face this sort of like blank page thing. Um, but you can delete any elements you don't like, as I was saying. So if you want to start fresh and have a white page and just create your own design, you can. They make it really, really easy. Then it's going to say save and continue. Obviously, this is not a finished design, but you know, let's say you finished it. It's going to ask you to name your page. Just name it something um, that you will, you know, understand what it is. It's just for you. Um, and I'm going hard again with my Mother's Day giveaway example. Um, and once you have added all of these elements, it's going to actually tell you you can publish. So you just click on that little button here. And that's it. High five. Um, how cool is that little branding, by the way? High five, your landing page is now live on the web. And it's giving you this URL, which is what you want to share with people. So if I go and um, copy paste this, we have this non-finished page that I've just built with you. Obviously yours would look better than this. Um, and so that's it, it's really, really simple. Now if you don't wanna use this long URL, as I was saying, you can use uh, uh, link shortener services like Bitly um, to help you make your link being a little bit more um, sexy, if I might say, like just not such a long thing to type, especially if you're going to have that in your uh, Etsy description where people can't click on the link, they need to type, so well, they can copy and paste as well, but you know, they mostly want to type it, so you want to have something a bit shorter than that, and Bitly is a great service um, to do that. Now my voice is turning into the voice of a man. I'm very sorry, um, I got a call over the weekend. Um, so. I hope this was uh, useful, you guys. I went a little bit over time. I always do that. I was aiming for this to be a 25 minute thing and it's been 45 minutes. That's just, that's just what I do. Uh, but it's been fun. Um, hopefully it's been more than fun and it's also been useful for you. I would love to know 
if you have any question, I'm going to have to go and log out now because I actually do have a meeting coming up that I need to get ready for. But I will be monitoring the comments below this video. Uh, if I missed your comment while I was live, I try to answer as many questions as I could. But if I missed yours, I will be in there answering uh, in a written form. And on uh, YouTube, you can also comment uh, on the video below and I'm always monitoring those comments as well. So if you have a question regarding uh, how to use these landing pages, fire away your questions at me and we'll try to, you know, help you move you forward because um, this is really, really something cool that you need to be leveraging in your business. So I hope this was helpful. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for joining me live. It's always a pleasure to do those live videos, those live videos with you. Um, and uh, Alet says, did she just poof? I'm not sure what that means. Okay, thanks for all the details. Thanks, thanks for the good info and feel better. I'm feeling okay actually, Betty, thanks. Um, I'm not feeling like feverish or anything. I just sound like, I sound terrible, but I'm not feeling especially sick. I just have a cold. Um, but I will, um, I hope I, I will feel better soon. Um, thank you, great info. Thank you so much. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Make sure that you ask questions, even if you're watching the replay. If you watch the live, that's cool. Uh, the replay, that's why it exists. So make sure uh, to ask comments and uh, to ask questions in the comments as well if you need to. I'm going to go now. Uh, love you all, and I'll speak to you soon.